Um, we're now back to um, Carlo. Question 75. Deputy here, look, I'm Jennifer. delighted to be getting back in again. Thank you uh, so much. And Minister, again, I, I'd like to ask you the question on what action has been taken by the IDA to bring new businesses to Carlo, and if you can make a statement on the matter. Thank you so much. <laughs> As you said, it won't be, for, it won't be forgotten um, this morning anyway. Um, uh, absolutely, Deputy. As we just discussed, um, uh, we are working, uh, the IDA is working hard and is um, working particularly hard in relation to delivering in the regions through a strategy driving recovery and sustainable growth. Um, IDA is, is identifying emerging trends and looking at the opportunities for sustainable growth amongst its existing client base through a focus on transformative investments to increase the productivity of existing Irish operations and to attract new ones through RD&I, digitalisation, training and sustainability. The South East region, of which Carlos is part of, has 86 IDA client companies employing just over 15,500 people across technology, life sciences, international financial services and engineering industrial technology. FDI performance in the region has been strong over the past five years, with employment among IDA clients increasing by 25% over the period. Carlo is part of the South East region. There are four IDA client companies in Carlo with a combined employment of 1,515. And as we discussed earlier, the new 34,000 square foot advanced building solution in Carlo Town is scheduled for practical completion in quarter two uh, of this year, in the next number of weeks. And in that spirit, IDA will continue to market Carlo and the South East region through its overseas office to target mobile FDI opportunities with corresponding site visits. And the availability of the advanced building solution will be a major plus in that marketing effort for Carlo. And thank you, Minister. You know, and, and thank you. Thank you, Minister. And I welcome this. And as we've spoken previously about, while I welcome regional development, and as you said, we're in the southeast again, and I can just highlight this again to you, because we are the smallest county there, I always feel we have a lot more to do, and I find it, it's a challenge for us. So again, I, I want to thank you for your commitment to meeting the IDA with me, and of course meeting maybe Carlow County Council, because I can only say, Carlow has so much to offer. Our location, we're so close to Dublin. Our road infrastructure is absolutely excellent. We have so much to offer. We have, like just even mentioning, like I could mention um, MSD Unum, and at the moment even Glenvey are opening um, a whole new uh, factory there at the moment. So we have such potential, but we need help, Minister. And I know on delivery, to get that help, it's everybody and all the agencies working together. Again, as I said, and the reason I'm really bringing this up today is because of my concerns that we are the smallest county and that does affect us and I just think that again I'm repeating myself but there is a lot more challenges Thank for you. us. Thank you. Deputy Minister. Small could be good um, Deputy. Uh, what I would say is that um, through the IDA strategy they're developing only 19, one nine uh, advanced building solutions across 15 regional locations and Carlo is one of those locations. Uh, and that is a very serious statement of intent on the part of the IDA and on the part of the government that we are taking Carlo's potential seriously. Um, we are increasing the attractiveness as a uh, location for direct investment and having the ability to offer a building uh, will transform its potential to um, attract a new client. So absolutely, we will sit down with you, with the IDA, and uh, discuss with them their plans to sell this new facility uh, which should be due for completion in the coming weeks. Yeah. Thank you, Minister. And again, uh, thank you, Cahirlock. Again, Minister, I, I drive by the building every day. I can only just say the building is absolutely excellent now. And the quality, the workmanship, the work that has gone into it, it's just absolutely beautiful. You know, my biggest fear is now, and this is why I've been bringing it up today, because I just want to make sure that we fill that building, that we get clients for that building, that we are in a position in Carlo that I can say to people in the next few months or whatever, whenever we can try and get them in as soon as possible, there's the building, there's, there's clients in it, it's an excellent building. But again, unless you have people in it, Minister, you know yourself, you know, it, it just defeats the purpose. So I want to welcome the work that is done. I'm delighted that you've agreed to, to work with me on this, as I know you will. And I can only say to any investor out there, Carlo is an absolutely fabulous place to live. We've so much to offer. And if you're going to invest, look at Carlo. Thank you.